Well, it's almost five in the morning. At the end of the Monday night, we've got a sunrise happening up ahead there. I don't know. It looks really beautiful and orange red in reality, but in the phone, it doesn't look quite so spectacular. Um, it was a slow night to start with, and it was mostly a slow night, but in the morning hours, I was lucking out with these longer fares, fares of 20 and $30 that have really made all the difference. So I'm coming in now with uh, about 220 on, and I'm on my way to what could be my last call, or my second to last call, or something like that. I might be getting busy this morning, who knows? So, I can't complain about the way the night went. It, uh, I had a chance to watch some videos and try and get caught up on YouTube. And I fell asleep a number of times while doing that. It's a sleepy morning for me. Okay, well, I'm going to go get this customer. And who knows where it's going to go. Well, it's 5.24 in the morning. It's uh, Wednesday morning, so it's the end of the Tuesday night. The Tuesday night was so slow. It took about 45 minutes or more before I got my first call. And then it took an hour. I, I did about one trip an hour. Um, so like I started at 6.30, now it's five, almost 5.30. So I did what? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve trips. 12 trips in 11 hours. Yeah. 12 trips in 11 hours, and I went to sleep a couple times. I watched uh, most of the YouTube videos that I was subscribed to. I, I did some catching up. And that's a good thing, because I was quite behind for a while there, but it took me two days to catch up to where... I am now. I think I got two or three videos to watch. Yeah. Yeah, it's safe to go now. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have another warm morning, have another warm day. Not too much in the way of clouds. The sun is going to come out and warm everything up. So I got, just by the skin of my teeth, like I got about, I got about 180 on now and it was looking scary for a while there. I think it took till 1 o'clock or 1.30 to break even. Then after breaking even, it took quite a while to make some profit. So I think my profit is about 90 bucks, something like that. Uh, I'm glad this night's over. It's been quite a torture and I'll be back tomorrow well it is now seven o'clock in the morning we are at the ferry dock that's the ferries and we are leaving from the ferries here's what happened um, I got a call it was a time call for 510 in the Royal Oak area and so I picked her up and she was going to Esquimalt and uh, then she said she had to go to the ferries and she said how much time do I have if I want to make uh, uh, I guess I can book off book 
0.990. That's it. I'm done. So here's what happened. Yeah. So she said she'll be right out or she'll be back out. Just give her some time to get ready and change her clothes and whatever. And I said, if we leave at 6.10, you will get on the ferry for sure. But, so I waited for her. I mean, she had about 45 minutes from the time, or about 40 minutes from the time we got there. So, 40 minutes to get changed and ready and everything else. And at uh, 6.05, I sent her a text message saying, you're going to have to leave soon if you want to make the 7 o'clock ferry. And, uh, she sent me a message about seven minutes later saying, I'm coming. Okay. So that was already 6.15 or 6.14 or something like that. She finally came out at 6.27. And uh, on the way she said that she had a she had to fight her mother for one thing or another. And so I said, well, hopefully the ferry's late. If the ferry's late, then you can get on. And as we were coming down, <clears throat> or we were coming to the ferry, I saw cars coming off. So that meant that they couldn't load yet until they were unloaded. So the cars that were waiting to get on, hopefully uh, they, there was enough time for her still to get on because they don't let you on the ferry if it's less than 10 minutes to the time it sails. and when there's an ambulance you gotta stop move over and stop maybe somebody had a heart attack on the ferry or something I don't know. anyways I got her to her ferry it's 703 it's an hour after the time I usually turn the car in or usually park it but uh, it was worth an extra sixty dollars to get that fare and because the night started so slow for this, uh, this was a Wednesday night, the night started so slow that it took me until midnight to break even. And breaking even was about $110. And now I've got uh, over three. I got about 310, 320, something like that. So it worked out. And a good chunk of that was cash, because the girl going to the ferry paid me in cash. So I'll be able to deposit some money, which is just grand. Anyways, yeah, I had a few longer trips in the morning, and now this was the longest one. Yeah, I'll be back uh, tomorrow. The Monday night was a busy night. The first four hours were non-stop. Uh, and the next four hours were almost non-stop. In the morning hours, I got a chance to sleep between 2 and 4, approximately. And after 4, well, I did get a couple of good trips. And uh, there was one point where I got another good one. Um, let's just say that I've, I've done well over 300 and that was the Thursday night so it's been a good week so far 
one more night to go. And I could probably tell you stories about tonight, but I... It's a big blur, and I was quite busy for most of it. Yeah. Don't know what else to say, except that I'm tired. I want to go home, eat something, have a couple drinks, and go to sleep so that I can be ready for tonight. And tonight will be my last night of the week. So, I'll just... I washed the car, you can probably see that there's some uh, water on everything because I washed it and I'm going to park it right there and that's going to be it for me. Yeah. It was good. Well, it's uh, 4.30 in the morning, Saturday morning, Canada Day. Uh, this is Taxi Vlog 462, I think. And uh, last night I came out to work at around 6.20, 6.30, and I was busy, 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 busy. Didn't have a chance to stop to take a piss or take a... A rest or even take a breath between calls until about two o'clock then finally at two o'clock or just after two I had a chance to take a break for half an hour and you know I think about ten minutes into that half an hour break I fell asleep and then I woke up when I had another call at quarter to three and it was a long one. And then, since then, I've been just getting good luck. I mean, I had, I just had a $10 fare, and she gave me 20 You know, things like that. It's a $13 fare, they give me 20 It's a uh, whatever, you know. And so, right now, I've got something like... Four hundred and fifty dollars on, and I still got an hour and a half to go before the end. And I could go longer, I guess, but I'm tired because I I worked my can off until two o'clock. But since then, it's been a little more relaxed, and I've been able to watch a few videos and just relax a little instead of being rushed and stressed which is what things have been before two o'clock so um, yeah Canada Day the country is 150 years old I vaguely remember when it was a hundred years old I was three we were at Expo 67 and I was in this great big forest of legs. And my parents were kind of worried they couldn't find me in this forest of legs. Eventually they did. But still, I was in a forest of legs and I loved it. <laughs> uh, what else do I remember from that year? From 67? I remember pointing at my mother's pregnant belly and I said that I have a sister and her name is Linda and I was right I did end up having a sister and her name is Linda just because I said it so I remember that And I hope yours is better than mine. It's now 5.23 a.m. 
on a Wednesday morning. The Tuesday night was quiet. I had my first trip after about 45 minutes. And this fucking thing is beeping.